beautiful day here in the Antelope Valley where I live, about an hour and a half north of Los Angeles. But actually, we are gonna talk about something that's going on in the Sahara Desert in Morocco right now. It is probably about 120 degrees, maybe 110, depending on what time it is. But they're on day four of Marathon de Saab. And if you don't know what Marathon de Saab is, in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Okay, so what is Marathon de Saab? Oh, here we go with the barking, of course. Parma, keep him quiet. <laughs> I think he hears me recording. Or maybe that dog doesn't want to do Marathon de Saab. He has something against it. Anyways, so before I talk about what Marathon de Saab is, I'm going to tell you what the history is behind it. <laughs> I'm never getting through this video. <laughs> God. Dog barking, wife interrupting. I'm going out for my run. Are you gonna do um, 155 miles as they are in the Sahara Desert right now? No! Effing way! <laughs> I don't blame her. Not for me. No. It's about 70 degrees and that's... that's just I think it's about 110 degrees there now. Yep, that's way too much for me. Yes. But we have, we have the garbage man going on over there. We got dogs barking. It we is got, trash day. Oh my gosh, I'm never gonna get through this thing. You'll be fine. And uh, I got Skid Row Running Club. You're representing well. Yep, L-A-R-R, -R. A6, boom. Okay. By the way, go follow her channel, VSG Athlete. You can look, look it up up here. So I'm gonna get back to what this is about. People wanna know what Marathon de Saab is. It's amazing, it's a lot. And it's something that I will, I have no interest in, but I'm here to cheer on those who are in it and taking on that huge undertaking. So, great job. Who knows? Maybe we'll do it one day. Nope, I know. I know. <laughs> I won't. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> have fun. Thanks. Okay, where was I? The history of Marathon de Saab. All started in 1984 by a guy named Patrick Bauer. He uh, is currently the race director. He's the founder of this race. He decided at the age of 28, you know what, I'm gonna go take on 355 kilometers through the Morocco Sahara by myself, self-supported, nothing in sight, no villages, no water, nothing. He did it all by himself and it took him 12 days to do it, but he did it. And that was the start of it. That was a little, that was the thing that got the idea in his head. And then two days later, it officially started, 1986, 23 people took on what is now called Marathon de Saab. And um, as of from 86 till now, they've had a total of 22,000 participants. Um, so with that said, what is Marathon de Saab? Basically what it is, is a seven day race through the Morocco Sahara, um, seven different stages, and it's equivalent to six marathons in one week. Um, each stage has a different length to it, but it's an average of 155 miles, which is, uh, let me, uh, 255, 250 kilometers. Sorry, I'm American, so I don't know kilometers, but one, 250 kilometers, 150 miles, 150, 155 miles through the Morocco Sahara. And it is, like I said just a few minutes ago, it's all self-supported. They have to carry everything on their back, water, food, um, their sleeping bag, uh, whatever they need, clothing, all that. And their packs usually weigh between um, between 10 and 20 pounds. That's what they recommend. And the only thing that they do provide for them is their tents. At every stage, they are in a tent and they gotta put the tent up themselves. Uh, and they're with tent mates. So I believe it's like between eight and 10 uh, people per tent. Um, what else? Okay, so let's talk about a little bit about, about the course. So as I said, the course is seven stages. And so in this year's course, I'm gonna give the 2023 course. Uh, day one is 22.36 miles or 36 kilometers. Um, day two is 19.69 miles or 31.7 kilometers. Day three is 21.37 miles or 34.4K miles kilometers. Karma, get out of there. 
trying to eat the grass. Oh my gosh. Anyways, uh, day four and five, these are the long ones. Actually, it's, it, they call it day four, but it, it's technically it's gonna last a couple days or um, overnight. Uh, it's 55.92 miles or 90K. That's the longest day, day four. And then day six, they uh, do a full marathon, 26.22. And which is 42.2K. And then day seven is uh, 5.59 miles or 9K. So that is the course in a nutshell. Um, of course, every year changes and the participants do not know the course ahead of time. They get, they get a handbook and they know, they pretty much find out that weekend that they're there what the course is. Each uh, phase is timed. So um, you can't just take your sweet time getting through each one. You have each stage is timed, and if you don't meet the time requirement, you DNF. That's all there is to it. Um, so next thing is, how much does it cost to be part of Marathon to Saab? It is not cheap, folks. It is, as I just told you, it is a big production, so of course it's gonna cost some money. Here we go with the barking again. Anyways, um, so it, it varies depending on where you're actually buying it from and what package you get. Um, so if it goes from 3,200 to 3,400 euros, and that could include your airfare. You have a um, it's a charter flight that goes there. Um, but here in the U.S., you cannot get a charter flight. It's it's approximately 3,500 dollars per participant. That's a lot. So a little a few random facts about this race. So um, now to who can participate. Anybody can participate as long as you're 16 years and older and you can actually pass their medical um, certification. You, you got to make sure you're healthy enough to do it. Um, I think the oldest runner is like 81 years old that did it and the youngest is 16. Um, but if you're 16, of course, you got to have your, you got to have, a, a, you gotta have your, um, your guardian there with you. Um, so, yeah. So as long as you're healthy enough to endure it, and you meet that age range, any runner or walker can do it. So um, yeah, you don't have to be an elite athlete. You don't have to uh, qualify for it. You just have to sign up and pay that, that, that hefty registration fee. When the, the thing that really got my attention was you have to sign a waiver of possibility of death. Um, over these, over, since the start, since 1986, three people have died in this race. Um, it is it is a dangerous thing. It's not easy, um, and also they have two helicopters available to evacu evacuate any casualties on the course. So um, yeah, I've I've heard of stories from because right now we have two friends that are participating in it. They label themselves Sahara Strong. They are our friends Darren and Jules. They are doing it all for children's cancer research. Um, but as of the day of this recording, unfortunately, they did not complete the second um, um, phase of it. They actually timed out. They didn't meet their time requirement. And that is because they found a downed runner who was unconscious and they tended to him, uh, his own needs instead of their own. So by the time they um, were able to find help and get that guy meta back out of there, they asked if they can get their time extended and unfortunately they had to deny them on that. So they, uh, their, their, race has ended but they are still doing it for charity and i would be very thankful if you would um, support their charity by clicking the link up here or in the description below and that is going to take you to their fundraiser they're doing it all for children's cancer research darren and jules they are an amazing people amazing friends of ours and uh, we are so incredibly proud of them for being so selfless in their own journey and helping somebody else so um yeah so um back to a few other stuff um the fastest known time of completion of this is the male is Mohammed Ahansel. He did it in 16 hours, 22 minutes, and 29 seconds. The fastest female, uh, Beatrice Raymond, uh, 21 hours, 35 minutes, and 22 seconds. Um, if you want to know more about this race, I um, highly recommend going to the um, website. The description will be below. Um, but also go to Netflix and watch the series Losers. There is actually one episode about this and it is about a guy that gets lost on the course and he goes through all kinds of stuff so go check it out um, and while you're down there please hit the subscribe button it really helps support the channel and also while you're down there in the comments section let me know would you ever do marathon to sob 
I'm actually thinking about doing it one day. So um, if you subscribe to the channel, you might see that journey one day. Anyways, I'm Anthony reminding you to keep running for your best life. Hello, boy. Give me that.